This is Chad Riggs reporting from Bays Mountain Park and Planetarium. We're about to find out the inside scoop on what's been going on with the planetarium renovations. Well, we've made it inside the planetarium. I'm here with Jason Dorfman to talk a little bit about the renovations that have gone on, and this is sort of an inside peek at what's been going on at this planetarium. Jason, how's it going today? Going very well. Uh, when did the renovations start at Bays Mountain Park? Well, we closed down the planetarium uh, last March of 2008, and uh, we began by taking out all the old equipment and old seating and everything in the theater. And uh, the actual new uh, construction didn't really begin until the summer, though, until about June. Um, and there's been a lot happening since then, and uh, we're getting really close now to finishing up. Well, the old star projector, I know, was a great piece of equipment, but that was in here when I was a kid. And yeah. what about, uh, tell us about the uh, features, the full dome video, and all those things that this new system will provide. Well, with the new system, uh, there's a lot of great improvements that we're making. Um, we will still have an, a star machine, uh, the optical star projector, and that is the main part of the theater. And uh, it is smaller than the old uh, star projector, and each uh, individual star has its own fiber optic strand. With the uh, with the use of, of fiber optics, we're able to create a very point-like and uh, magnificent uh, star field on the surface of the dome. Uh, so that will be a great feature of this new star projector. Uh, the, the other part of the system, of the projection system, is full dome video. And uh, that is really going to open up the capabilities of what we can do inside the theater. Um, we had video capabilities in the past, but they were very limiting. Now we are going to have the ability to project uh, video and animations all around you and cover the entire surface of the planetarium dome. And that really uh, will allow us a lot of new fun things to, to be able to do with our programming uh, in the theater. We can put you in the solar system and fly you out around the planets and really immerse you in that environment. Uh, but we're also not limited uh, to just uh, astronomy or space kind of scenes. Um, we can put you inside of a natural environment. We are here at Bays Mountain, part of a natural preserve, and uh, so we can put you in a forest, uh, put you out in a meadow with animals, and uh, again, it's an immersive environment, so we'll really make you feel like you're there. It'll be all around you. Basically, uh, with full dome video, anything that we can create in three dimensions, uh, we can project inside on the entire surface of the dome. Well, Jason, that's great to hear. I know that I was a big fan of the shows you had here before, and it sounds like the uh, quality is just going to continue to grow. I have uh, one question about the uh, immersive outdoor environment. Do people who come up here need to bring any waivers or anything as far as if they're allergic to bees or anything? Will it be that immersive, or will it just be merely you know, visually stimulating and interesting. <laughs> uh, no, no waivers are ne necessary. Um, uh, it's entire computer created and it's only projected on the surface of the dome so there will be no actual animals running around the theater. Though it may feel like it, we're hoping, but uh, no, everyone will be safe. They'll have a lot of fun. Uh, Jason, tell us about uh, where you've sourced some of this stuff. I know that some of the uh, optical equipment for the star projector has to come from Germany because that's the only place they make that, but what about some of the other uh, new features in this planetarium? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, with a lot of um, the equipment that goes into a planetarium, there are only a few companies that do uh, deal in those kind of, of things, and those are national as well as international. Uh, like you mentioned, with our projection equipment, that did come from a company in Germany. Uh, but where we could, we, we did our best to incorporate some local businesses and local um, craftsmen really into uh, new aspects of the theater. Um, uh, one of the elements of the new theater that we have done is had a custom uh, operator's console created uh, by a local wood shop. And uh, we, you can see that here. And we designed it ourselves and had them uh, create this from scratch. And they did a great job. It looks fantastic. And one of the benefits of doing that uh, was that we were able to incorporate all the design elements that would function well for us in operating the theater and also uh, look uh, great uh, in terms of the appearance of the theater, really blend well with the rest of the look of the theater. 
Well, thanks, Jason. This is a great operator's console. Uh, what we've got, uh, I don't know if our viewers can see any of the dome behind us, but it's a rare look at what's behind the dome. There's tiny perforations in there, and the uh, fluorescent lighting is on. And uh, back there is a storage for a variety of things. Um, here's the, uh, to our left, I guess, is, is that where the star projector goes? Yes. Um, the center section will still incorporate the main star machine as well as the full dome video projectors. Um, having those in the center really creates the best visuals on the surface of the dome, so it's necessary for them to be there. Jason, these seats sure are comfortable. I know the uh, other seats were in here a while. What can you tell me about these new seats? Uh, well, we do have some great new chairs in the theater, and uh, something that was very important to us. Um, the old chairs were the original chairs from uh, 1971, and so they were getting quite uh, dated. And it's great to have uh, some brand new chairs here in the theater. They're very comfortable, uh, lots more padding than the old chairs, and uh, nice armrests uh, that can move up and down. And uh, there's also a lot more room. Um, we did lose a few seats. We had about 106 seats in the old theater, and we have 102 now. So we're about the same, which is one of the things that we really wanted to try and maintain. Uh, but we were able to put a little bit more uh, space between the rows so it's yeah. not as tight uh, getting in and out of the rows any in in the new theater the dome is completely new uh, that's one of the the new great things uh, that we were able to do um, the framework and the sheeting of the old dome was taken down uh, back in November and um, a new brand new framework and uh, a new sheeting uh, it's an aluminum perforated sheeting that is was put on the dome the new framework is much more rigid than the old framework and has a much more spherical shape, uh, which is important for the new full dome video projection system. And uh, having a brand new dome is really going to help uh, with this new full dome video technology. Uh, we will have the ability to project that video all around you on the entire surface of the dome above your head. And that really creates what we call an immersive environment. We're in one of the new areas in the planetarium that was created with the renovation. Uh, some of the equipment you can see behind uh, Jason and I, and we're going to talk a little bit about what this, how this room came about and what this equipment is. Yes, uh, this is a new back uh, equipment room um, that we created. We uh, took out one of the walls and uh, expanded this area, created a, a new open area in order to accommodate all the new equipment uh, that's coming into the theater. Um, what will be back in this room will be the uh, sound system um, equipment in this rack behind us. Uh, we also have the new lighting system uh, control is back here, as well as um, the there's a a rack of computers that control the new full dome video system and the star machine will be back here as well. And uh, we have some extra space also uh, in order to have a little bit of storage too, which really helps us uh, in terms of the theater. Uh, what Do you know what show you're going to show in the first, uh, in the grand opening? Yes, uh, we've been hard at work on our first public show. It's called Connections, and uh, it's almost done, and it'll be a great show, uh, really designed to show the connectedness of life on Earth and nature to the stars and the planets and the universe, really. Um, but also, its main feature, our main point was uh, in, to showcase the new features of the Planetarium Theater. So we've tried to incorporate a lot of the new capabilities into the design of this show. And uh, that's something that uh, I don't think a lot of people are aware of, that we produce our own shows here at Bays Mountain Park. And that really is a lot more than it sounds. We do all the work. We create all the visuals and do all the sound creation and music creation and uh, put it all together. So it's a lot. It's, we're pretty proud of that fact. Well, hopefully we'll be able to take the viewers uh, behind the scenes and see a little bit more of how those are created as it gets closer to opening. And when is the new grand opening? Uh, we will be opening March 7th. Uh, it's Saturday, and uh, that's our new grand reopening date. So it's coming up pretty quick here. And tickets, sir, is there a big ticket price increase with all these new features? Uh, no, not a big increase. Uh, shows will, will be $3. 
uh, which is still very affordable compared to a lot of uh, different entertainment aspects in the area. So it is a slight increase, but uh, we think it's still uh, in line with uh, really helping out the citizens of Kingsport and providing them a quality entertainment uh, choice. It sounds like it. With all the educational programs, too, that's a valuable thing to show. Yeah. Yeah, education, as you mentioned, that's another big part of what we do here, and those prices haven't changed. Uh, it's always been free to Kingsport and Sullivan County schools, and we will continue to do that. Um, we do produce our own school programs, and we, uh, we bring a lot of school children through our theater uh, during the school year, and so education is a big part of what we do here at Bays Mountain. Um, well, I've got you here. Let's, we're in sort of in the behind-the-scenes area. Let's talk a little bit about what went on behind the scenes as far as the uh, construction and renovation, the ripping out, and yeah. installing. There's been a lot of work that has happened uh, as part of this renovation. Uh, we began with the demolition phase, phase one, and that was basically taking out all the old equipment and chairs from, from the old theater. Uh, and then we moved into what, what, what I call the construction phase, and that's where we started to make some changes um, to the theater. Uh, one of the big changes that people will first notice when they get to the theater is we've opened up the entranceway. Um, we took out a wall that was in the foyer, the entrance area there, and so opened that area up. And we've created a brand new hallway that you walk down and enter in the front of the theater as opposed to the back in the past. So that was a big change that we made. Uh, we've sloped the floor now uh, for the seating area. So when you're sitting in the back rows, you'll be able to see down towards the front much more easily. And uh, with all the new walls and these back room areas, we've uh, added the new carpet as well and the new dome surface uh, is a big part of that as well. So there's a lot, a lot that's been happening. Well, it's fan that's fantastic to hear, Jason, and uh, just appreciate you uh, meeting with us today and giving the people of Kingsport a little behind-the-scenes look at what their uh, new planetarium is going to have to offer. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.